Hello everybody and welcome back to the next instalment of Lewis Learn to Cook and How to Become a Better Father. A bit about Newman. So on today's cooking challenge we are gonna make no cheese cheesecakes, which were suggested to be by, by Izzy Grogan. Uh, they can be seen online. They're Easter eggs for like, the cheesecake mixture stuff. So first I'm gonna take you through the ingredients that we've got. So as you can see here, all my ingredients, we've got chocolate, digested biscuit, condensed milk, double cream, and three Easter eggs ready to cut in half. So I will get back to you when I'm starting cooking. And we are back. Now let's begin baking. So I've put 200 digestives into a bowl ready to be mashed with my golden syrup. So I should just hold it. I'm falling out. You want to get this nice and fine. So no big lumps of biscuits like you did with a cheesecake base. So it's just all nice and no more bigger lights. Can you see? As you can see, it's all getting very fun. A few last few hits. Just break down the last few big chunks that I've got. Now, I need to make milk 80, min 80 grams of butter in a, in a pan. So, I, I use unsalted butter. You can use salted butter, doesn't really matter. It's got little indicators on it, as you can see. 50 grams, so I'm gonna cut it in the center of the, just, over, just past the center of the second. As I was saying, sorry, technical difficulty there. Run out of a bit of space, <laughs> still here space. Cut it just after the second 50, so you get a nice between 75 and 80 grams of butter. Drop it into a pan. And just let that melt. When it's all melted, you can see I'm melting it. When it's all melted, this can uh, you can add the biscuits, and that becomes the base of your cheesecake. So as you can see, my butter is completely melted, as it should be, and I can see like this. And at this point, make sure you're on a low heat. As you can see, I'm on a low heat. Take the biscuits that you've fully crushed up into a fine thing, so like this, and then pour them in. Just like that. Now, turn your heat off, take it away from where it was, as you can see, and now just mix in the biscuits with the butter. It becomes your base of your cheesecake, as I said. So, when this is all done, we can get on to the top of the cheesecake. So, on to the next step. So, we have to get our Easter eggs ready to cut in half so you don't get on to crack. Get a sharp knife, as I've got. I've got one pound Easter eggs, as you've seen. One of them was actually broken when I opened it, so that's a little disappointment. So I'll be eating two less than I thought we'd be making today. But that's it. So, and you just run the knife along the edge slightly, gentle, gentle, gentle. Just to get through. Just trying to get through. You get a nice little cut, as you can see. Be careful. If you do this with children, make sure the adult does this. This is a very sharp knife. Don't want them to cut themselves going to the A&E, do we? Especially at the time of coronavirus. NHS workers are already doing a good job. We could do without making their job a bit harder by having stupid little accidents. So, if you're having a struggle like I am, the solution I've got is slightly heat your knife. Do you know I've done this? Slide in for the chocolate. Could you slightly melt it as you do?
Right, but that's not issue. It's cracked again, but we're gonna go ahead of it and make slightly a normal shape. These said ones, we need to find a way to break we break it. Make sure the nice cool down, then you can do what I'm doing. Eat the chocolate of it. Like a bit of a pig. So, let me just show you the finished project. So, as you can see, a little bit of cracking, but it's fine. They're good enough bases for our cheesecakes. Now we're on to the next stage, making the top of the cheesecake. So first, you need some condensed milk, some single cream, and then you need to melt some chocolate. I will post, as I posted before, you will see the ingredient list at the top. So, you take the whole can of condensed, which is why I need to open the dot cut, and 250 mils of your double cream. So first, let's put in the 250 mils of the double cream. This is a 300 one, so I've only got to put in just short of a little bit of it. So, pour it in. Yeah, that's about 250. Mmm, very nice. So now, now onto the fun bit. You need to melt some chocolate. So I bought Sage's um, chocolate for milk chocolate cookies, because it's good. For this, we need to go into the microwave until it's a nice runny consistency. And then it will be poured into the single cream. So let me just get my cupboard, my little container to melt my chocolate. So just gonna break it down into small little chunks, make it easier for it to melt in the microwave. So whilst we wait for our chocolate to melt, to melt in the microwave, as you can hear, I'm gonna open up my tin can of condensed milk. Just need a standard tin over, as we will have, hopefully. So, and then you want to use a tin over, so just spin it. As you can see, I'm not the greatest, as you can see, I am the greatest at using that thing. So now you tip in your condensed milk like that. Oh, look how runny it is. Be careful with tin over, as I said before. If you're using this for family, do this for family and children, even later in life when you use my videos. Make sure the family, the kid does this, because you can cut himself in the tin. Make sure the kid doesn't do this, I mean. You can cut himself in the tin. It's just a nice mixture again. Just need to add my chocolate, which you can use in the microwave. Perfect. My chocolate is just a nice consistency it should be. Nice and runny, so now pour it in like that. Pour in that another nice, nice, just as we like it, like that. This is how you think it should look. Now that all our ingredients are in the mixing bowl, so you give it a nice big stir. Mix it all together, it should go nice brown colour as you can see, all nice and chocolatey. You then mix it proper in. Get it nice and goey. A nice bricks action in there. Look at it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh. So when you finish mixing, you should get a mixture that's quite thick and runny. That's quite thick, I mean not runny. Sorry about that. It's poor understanding it. So now on to the prep stage. Just to get a little bit work and give it a few more mixes. So got my biscuit for my base. Got my top and I've got my chocolate. Things. So, first, you need a new spoon. New spoon. You take your biscuit that you've got and you spoon a nice layer into the bottom of your, into your eggs. Make sure it's nice and flat, like a cheesecake base should be. Nice and flat. I've got some leftover biscuit, so I might make some more later. But for now, this is good. So now, go back to your mixture, which is very nice and thick, as you can see. Very, very thick. Nice and thick. And now you just spoon some on. Make 
make sure it goes all in the all in the cases. The cases then hold the cheesecake. I'll show you a picture after I'm done what I'm doing. Show you how they should look. I'm just pouring my mixture on. Okay, so when they're all full, you can add a little bit extra. And since I bought buttons, these eggs, I'm gonna drop a few buttons into each one. Then a little little thing to do. So drop a few buttons on each one. Yeah, yep. So we have been wondering what I've been doing. So this is what I've been doing. As you can see, more not come out exactly as the picture says at the front, but I don't think it's bad for a first go. This is my best bet, I reckon. Hoping all this chocolate allows it to set anyway, and I get a nice little one. Where they all cracked, I make little small ones. But I don't think it's not bad. I've got loads of batter left, so I'll be making a couple more, I think, in the next few days. But um, we'll come back to you a couple of hours. We've got to let it set for a few hours. Similar to the tiffin, two to three hours, let it all set, let all the chocolate harden up. And yeah, when we come back to it, I hope they look they're quite crazy, tasty, and good. And you get your idea of your non cheesecake cheesecake. So I'll get back to you quite later on. See you later. So as you saw before, I was doing a no cheesecake cheesecake, but I had a bit of a problem with the bait. So I got a, a new idea, I thought, why don't I make just little cheesecakes and little packing pots, then you got little cheesecakes to go all the time, because I've got loads of leftover mixture. So I'm gonna make a little cheesecake, drop a little bit of Smarties in there, create a new little thing. Might be a new innovative dessert. So you have no idea. This is my idea, it's basically a little, uh, Cheesecake on the go and little pockets for leftover big batter I've got because there's never there's, and especially this time now we've got there's no need to waste ingredients So this one I can buy more Easter eggs, but this is what I've come up with So I think it's a very clever idea make your own little homemade cheesecakes and little containers ready to go So I hope you've enjoyed And as you can see this is what I've come up with my little creations. I have a uh, my little cheesecakes with the leftover batter, which I think is a good idea to use. You know, using it all. So, just break up some of the broken Easter egg I've got left into it with some Smarties and uh, I'm gonna put these in the fridge and set them. So there's another little idea, a little cheesecake that I get to go along with my no cheesecake cheesecake. So, we will get back with these ones and the other ones I already put in the fridge later on. Hello everyone, and welcome back. It's been a few hours. Bit few hours and I said it'd be been quite busy this afternoon, so thought I should have finished product. So they look quite good, didn't they? Set my new thing. So I thought I'd do something different this time, and I'll show you one. I'll show you the finished project, and two, I'm gonna do a bit of a taste test. Look at that. Very nice. Mmm. Mmm. Very toasty. Oh, mm. it's quite like a cheese set. Very different. These are very sweet and very lovely, and I think you'll enjoy this video. Um, it's got a good. Mm. It's got a nice biscuit base. Like um, my like cheesecake dove. The top's a bit more gooey than usual. Oh, it's falling apart. But yeah, look at that. It's, look at that. It's rock solid. Mm. Well, I set for me today. I hope you've enjoyed the second instalment of Lewis Cooks. Oh, yeah, I just wanted to show you my little things come out quite good. Two little make your own cheesecakes there. Eh? So, see you later. Until next time, this is it. Goodbye.